at setup you do have more weight on your front leg and, um, as you take a back swing your hands are much that's lower but again this is pretty good we know that's your heel mm -hmm. we also know 94 percent on your heel is a good thing but at impact look at this what does that tell me should not be on my front foot my tell me where your where your front foot is it's off the ground right your heels off the ground your of your right foot yeah that's a power source for you that's called vertical force you move up right there's three sources of force. You have lateral force, the rotational force, and the vertical force. You're using vertical force for power. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with that. There's a lot of people that do that. Justin Thomas, his left heel, when he hits the ball, is off the ground. Bubba Watson's oh, yeah. trail heel. lots of Bubba. Yeah, I mean, not many lefties I could try to copy, but right. I watch a lot of Bubba and Phil. Yeah, I mean, so... Your takeaway is even better there from what we did originally, your first swing. Um, I got in the way because I... I could do another. I know, I, I, but I do want to show you something here. So your, your trace is good. You're into your trail leg. That's good. You got 55% of your weight on your trail leg and you got almost 100% on your heel. That's all good. At impact. Uh, so try to keep my lead foot down on the ground more? You or? know, that's, that's a good question. I, I think if I can achieve, you can see the plane is much shallower. Can you see that? The club's coming down right on the, yeah. pretty much right on the, that's the, that line I drew, that's the actual shaft plane. And that's where the club should be coming down. So if we looked at, it, at your numbers, swing path numbers, I would say they're in to out. My only concern is, like I said, can we get the face more square? I'm going to move this. Can, yep. And can we, sh you know, can we get the club to feel like it's that's definitely a back swing that's lower wouldn't you agree it's yeah. definitely lower face is trying to be lower with it yeah and that's shallowing your plane out now that was a block because we're going to talk about this a little bit i mean one of your exercises is you're going to be hitting drivers trying to keep your trail heel on the ground and your lead heel on the ground yes your pelvis shoots forward here, which steepens the fa uh, it gets the club more underneath you than you want. In other words, it gets the club head too far behind your hands. You can see the club head is way behind your hands there. When you're thrusting your pelvis forward, that accentuates that mistake. So by keeping the trail heel down, feeling deeper with your hips, mm -hmm. deeper meaning that this front hip is further back, that will help you eliminate the push fade. Okay. What I want you to do is basically hit the ball flat footed for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Keeping that heel down in transition will help you get your arms back in front of your body. I want you to feel like the trail elbow is getting in front of the trail hip by keeping it. Now, I'm not saying not turn your hips, just keep the heel down a little bit longer. That'll keep your hips from spinning too fast and getting the club too far behind you. Additionally, the pelvic thrust. We're going to work on that, but again, we can't do all this stuff. So, I mean, the causal analysis is you have a long arm swing and your pelvis moves forward, your trail heel comes up, and that's why you hit the push fade with a weak grip. Okay. You might still hit a push fade, but there are a couple things we can do. We strengthen your get grip, and we're going to try to have you shorten your swing and keep your lower body how can I say it? Quiet, more quiet, mm -hmm. not so spinny, mm -hmm. less spin and more arm swing. Okay. Yeah. So I want you to consciously feel like your lower body stands still. It won't, but feeling-wise, it's going to feel like your lower body's not even moving. Basically, hitting it flat-footed, 
a lot more rotation, you know, of the club and your arms will naturally occur if you can slow your, your hips down. Okay. And now I'm not saying slow your hips down. I'm not using the right term. I'm not saying you're going to slow the hips. You're going to change the sequence. You're going to have your hips turn later mm -hmm. in the swing. Mm -hmm. And you're going to get your arms to come down, feel like they're moving in front of you. Let's see what happens in terms of you feeling like your lower body, your trail heel is on the ground. I want you to hit a ball feeling like, and I don't know if you can even do it, that heel's down longer. Yeah. Okay. I think that will eliminate some of the problems. 